Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Signet Television. Chris is taking apart a Whelan M7 this morning, so let's go across and see what he's up to. Thank you, Stuart. From our friends at Whelan Engineering, we have part of the M series family. This is the M7. Part number in this case, with it being a red version with the red lens, would be an M7R. It's part of a whole family, so you have the smallest version, the M2, an M4, an M6, and the biggest of the family being the M9. So depending on the vehicle you're setting up, go ahead, select the appropriate M series light head. The M7 is designed for exterior use. I have seen a few cases where folks have mounted them on the inside of SUV side windows with some custom brackets, and it works quite well and is a very trick output with the really unique flash patterns that are able to be done with the M7s. I'll show you those in a minute here. To get us started, the M7 is put together with a UV resistant, durable polycarbonate lens. On the back of the light head, a five wire pigtail, and additional mounting gaskets. The back of the light head, an aluminum backing, which acts as a heat sink for the diodes inside. There happens to also be a gray Gore-Tex breather, and this has become a standard with wheel and engineering in their exterior mounted bigger light heads. What this allows is air that occurs inside the light head naturally to escape. So if there is any moisture that develops inside the light head, it allows the moisture to escape through the one-way special Gore-Tex breather fabric. So make sure to leave this intact on the back of the light head. For mounting, a foam sticker backing is part of the M7. You'd peel off the white backing piece. The foam would then go against the surface portion of the vehicle. So sticker backing would be removed. You'll then align it, seat it onto the back of the light head. And again, you'll also notice with the gasket sticker backing, it actually has a space cut out of it to allow the Gore-Tex breather not to be blocked. An additional mounting gasket is also included, and this is what will go over the foam backed sticker, adding an additional backing barrier and also a slight surface mount gasket that can press against the surface. So if this is going against something uneven, a diamond plate surface for example, the gasketing material here will compress against the diamond plate, letting the light head seat nice and evenly onto the surface. Inside the light head, Wheel and Engineering has done a wonderful job arranging the diodes and the electronics assembly that allows this light head to operate as it does and also be as wonderfully intense as it is, both head on and off access. It does use Whelan's linear technology inside. Vertical optics are also put into the polycarbonate lens to help spread the light out additionally. The back of the light head to remove the heat sink and electronics assembly from the polycarbonate lens. It's a matter of removing mounting screws. Something that you'll notice on these little mounting screws is a green epoxy seal that Whelan has added onto them. The epoxy helps seal the hole that the screws go through for putting the M7 series light head together. With the screws removed, the light head can come apart. So give you a look at the electronics assembly. In here, there is also an additional sealing gasket, and this helps to seat the lens onto the aluminum housing back. A total of 16 diodes are what creates the impact of the M7. Two rows, eight across the top, eight across the bottom. 
You'll also see a center solder connection for the five control wires. And with that, they then distribute out to the small electronic controls that contain the flashing functions for the light head, the synchronization that lets the M7 talk to other M7s or other M family light heads. Also, an intensity control for dimming the light head for nighttime operations. So it's a very well put together light head with a lot of wonderful features. On the lens assembly itself, it's actually a three piece unit initially when Whelan starts this on the assembly line. You have the exterior lens and it can either be color matched to the diodes or it can be clear. So depending on the cosmetics needed for the vehicle, go ahead and select the appropriate configuration for the M7. Inside, Whelan has added a polished reflector assembly with a linear diffuser on both the top and the bottom section. So with it having the linear technology that you see in Whelan's products, a very, very wonderful spread of light, both to the left and to the right, head-on punch, and stretching up and down. A black polycarbonate backing is then added to help seat the front lens and the reflector assembly all together. So it's actually something that Whelan has fused together to enhance the durability. So as you can see, a very simple light head when it comes to what's actually making this go together. Part of the heavy duty punch that you'll see with the M7 is achieved through the optics and the reflector assembly in the lensing. So what I'll do now is connect this to power, turn it on so you can see what it looks like without the lens and then how the optics and the lensing help enhance the light head. As you can see, nice and bright it is. Then with the lens assembly added, you can see a gain in intensity and also a gain in the spread of the light. So when it comes to the light heads, the optics are really what helps take the diodes and stretch them out to create the high potency punch that you see. I'm gonna go ahead now, reseat the mounting screws into it to join the backing electronics assembly into the three piece fused together lens assembly. Because there is a gasket that goes into the lip here, and again, onto the aluminum backing piece. I'm just gonna quickly make sure that that is aligned, pressed into place as needed. And then I can realign the aluminum backing. Snugly reseated back together. Now on the M7 light head, with the scan lock wire, flash patterns can be easily adjusted. You can do it on the initial installation, or if you'd like to have a momentary switch in the vehicle for changing patterns on the fly, go ahead and add one, connect the scan lock wire to it. Something unique that Whelan has done with the M family is created both solid flash patterns and split flash patterns. So depending on how you want the light to be displayed across the front, the back, the sides, you can go ahead and make adjustments to the flash pattern to make the display that you'd like to see. I'm just going to go ahead and go through a few more patterns so you get an idea of the different displays that I can offer for you.
So a very unique light head. A gray wire for the scan lock. So this is what will tie the multiple M series light heads together to allow them to communicate and selecting through the flash patterns and the phasing, that will allow for them to be alternating or simultaneous flashing, depending on how you need the display to be. And for our clients that would like to have a high-low intensity control, violet trigger wire applied to a continuous 12 volts puts the unit into low power mode. Take it away, back to full intensity it goes. To dress up the M7, additional mounting flanges are available for you. Black can be added onto the light head. As you can see, a nice clean fit and finish. Also, if you're looking to do some customization with the flange, color matching it, go ahead, grab the black one, spray it over as needed. If you'd like to add a little bit of a flash, the chrome flange is also available. So very wonderful to add on when these are going on to the rescue vehicle or the fire apparatus. If you'd prefer not to use the flange, as you can see, the M7 looks great even without them. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me here on Sirenet Television for a bit of an inside look at Wheel and Engineering's M7, also how the wiring works. Back to you, Stuart. The Whelan M7 in the capable hands of Captain Chris. I'm Wing Commander Stuart. You've been watching Sirenet Television. Thanks for watching.